Hello and welcome back to Step by Step GuitarTuition.com. This is the first lesson in the Step 2 module for intermediate players. In this lesson we're going to look at a new chord family called Suspended Second Chords, or Sus 2s for short. At this point you should be confident with all of the open chord shapes that we've looked at in the previous modules, and if you are then you're ready to move on to Sus 2s. You'll find the chord boxes and other useful information in your lesson notes. Okay, let's have a look at the four open suspended second chord shapes. A sus 2, C sus 2, D sus 2, and F sus 2. We'll start with A sus 2. Form an A major chord, and then simply lift your third finger off and strum the top five strings. Practice changing from A. A sus 2 A A sus 2 Now let's take a look at C sus 2 Start with an open C major chord and lift off your second finger and when you strum the chord, try not to play the top E string, the first string. So strum the four inside strings. Strictly speaking, if you do play the top E, then it's not a C sus 2 chord, it becomes a different chord. So again, just take that second finger off and strum the inside four strings, missing the top E. So C, C sus 2, C, C sus 2. OK, let's move on to D sus 2. Start with an open D major chord and then simply lift off your second finger so that the, the, the uh, top E string is ringing open. And then strum the top four strings. So you've got D, D sus 2, D, D sus 2. And lastly, F sus 2. Start with an open F major 7 chord and then lift off your second finger and lay your first finger flat so that it's holding down the first and second strings and then strum the top four strings. F sus 2. So that's all four open suspended second chord shapes. And to keep those open chord shapes fresh in your head, add them to your chord drill like this A, C, D, E, G, A minor, D minor, E minor. A7, B7, C7, D7, E7, G7, A major 7, C major 7, D major 7, E major 7, F major 7, G major 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, and then you've got A sus 4. D sus 4, C sus 4, E sus 4, and then your sus 2 chords, you've got A sus 2, C sus 2, D sus 2, and F sus 2. Later in this module you'll find some chord progressions to help you practice mixing up all the chord shapes that you've learnt so far. And that's it for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson two where I'll show you how to play Lydian and Mixolydian modal scales. Okay, I'll see you then.